Hey guys, Joanna coming in with another battle replay here. Welcome back to the land of sieges. We are on the settlement of Medlam. We do have a 3v2 battle here. Three Swaby forces. Uh, I don't know who is who because they're all Swaby. So I do know that one of them is Kamkul Mons 5-4. Another one is Vikinger. And the last one I believe is Silencio 199. Uh, we have some pretty interesting compositions. Actually, I just... Real quick, let's get back over here real quick. So I saw, I just took a little, a, a quick look at this army. I think that he's got nine units of hex bearers. Nine hex bearers, which I, I don't know. Um, I know they have really good damage, but there's only 80 of them in a unit. So it's not even full units that he's moving up. Uh, he's got four units of berserkers also. I think there's two sword masters, one sword master, one sword master that we can see. So, yeah, it's going to be kind of interesting to see how that goes. Over here, we do have some Blood Swarm, some Club Levy. That's good to see. Uh, some Wolf Warriors. There you go. Noticing that people who are playing Swaby do really enjoy bringing at least one or two units of those Wolf Warriors. Uh, we also have some Spear Levy, some more Hex Bearers, Spear Levy, Sword Masters. And then back down over here, we have a Sword Master General. Three more units of Berserkers. Some more of the Spear Levies. Uh, Hex Bearer. Hexbearer, Swordmaster, and another unit of Hexbearer. So lots and lots of Hexbearers on this battlefield today. Uh, let's take a look at the defenders. We will start off here with RDI being commanded by Charlie Six Zulu. He has brought with him five units of the Illyrian Hoplites, five Raiders, uh, four, no, sorry, three units of the Celtic Warriors, three, sorry, four Slave Slingers, and I think he's got three of the Illyrian Noble Hoplites. Just want to double check one, two, and I thought there was a third one here. Yeah, he has three units of the Illyrian Noble Hoplites. The Raiders are all outside of the settlement. He's got the two here, two more there. Uh, oh, sorry. Two more here, one more there. Okay. Sorry about that. And then we do have, finally, Pergamon being commanded by Armored Scarab. He has brought six units of the Galatian Swords, four Thorough Spears, four Game of Spears, one of those being his general. Uh, two units of the Militia Hoplites, two Archers, and two units of the Picked Peltests. So it should be a pretty good battle. Long, Pretty long battle for a 3v2. Pretty long battle. We're very interested to see what's going to happen. And already, actually during my uh, during my talking and talking and talking right there, we actually have a unit of Galatian Swords that have come charging out of the gate. And they're going to get... Ooh, they might get to them. There's some Hex Bearers making their way forward. I think these guys, I think these Galician Swords... Oh, no, he stopped them. Oh, he's pulling them away. Now they're just going to get shot. But look at that. More Galician Swords coming out, pouring into these Hex Bearers. He's brought, is he bringing all... He's got two more coming out. Okay, I thought he was bringing out all of them. Lots of, lots of the Galician Swords. Four out of the six making their way out here. And they are smashed. They got right through that Hex Bearer unit. Now they're going to have to take on some Berserkers. Oh, that was a nasty javelin volley by the, Berser by the Swordmaster General there. Ooh, that was nasty. Got some Hexbearers over here, not looking too good. They are actually getting shot at. Good job there. Archers up on the wall there for Pergamon, getting some really good volleys down. I mean, his guys are going to lose, but pretty sure he sent them out there with the intent of them losing. Now the Berserkers are out of control, so he will not be able to get them out of there. So these guys will continually, continuously be shot by Archers. More of the Glacian Swords. This is the final unit that he charged out. Is there another one coming? No. He's bringing them over here. But yeah, they are going to get some really good kills. More infantry coming out. Uh, oops, oops, oops. Got a unit of archers that were left up on the wall just a little bit too long. Getting taken on by some hex bearers, but he is going to get them out of there. Let's see what we got going on on the other side. Swaby did bring some of his units up the, up the hill here. Berserker and a Spear Levy. Currently taking on some of the Illyrian Raiders. We also do have a unit of the Longbow Hunters getting some shots down. Using fire arrows. Not sure exactly what they're shooting at. Are they firing at the towers? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that to me... Uh, I mean, it's a valid tactic. Honestly, I think that it would be... Because... So the infantry units can throw torches. I think that would be a lot better of an idea to use the torches than use very, very, you know, needed archer ammunition. 
Uh, we do have a Swaby army over here, though, that's getting inside completely untouched. I just want to make that known. There is a Swaby army making their way in. I don't know if that's just one. I don't think that... Yeah, that's definitely not just one. That's like one and a half Swaby armies that are coming in over here that are completely undefended. So, let's just make that aware. Uh, make sure that everybody knows that there is a whole army and a half coming inside the settlement not defended against. So, these guys are going to have to work really, really hard and really, really quickly on breaking at least one of these two other parts of the armies. So far, it does look like Pergamon's doing a pretty decent job. Galician Swords here, 74 kills. A lot of units trying to make their way up in these towers. Looks like we have the Swordmaster General, some Hex Bearers, and another unit of Berserkers trying to make their way up, but they are just continuously getting shot. They're getting thrown out now. Agima Spears getting some good volleys down into those Berserkers. Probably hitting some of the Swordmasters as well. Looks like they are going to pull away here now. So that'll definitely be good to hopefully stop taking so many losses. We have another unit of Hex Bearers that made their way up, taking on some more of those Galician Swords right there. You can see... Galician Sword still doing pretty well, getting close to 100 kills, breaking another unit of the Hex Bearers here. 61 kills for them, not too bad. Is this guy pushing up? Yeah, this this Swaby army really needs to start moving. Like, if they, if they want to win, you know, there's nothing in front of them that would tell me if I was attacking over here and there was nothing in front of me at all over here, I'd be pressing very hard trying to maybe get into the backs of these frontline units at least, trying to get some kills. Back up over on the hilltop here, we have the other two units of Illyrian Raiders making their way back. This unit here, unfortunately, only 38 kills. Let's take a look at these guys. 42 there. This unit is currently taking on a Spear Levy, a Swordmaster, and a Berserker. 104 kills, doing as much damage as they possibly can. There we go. More Illyrian Raiders making their way in. Just as that first unit broke. Wow. Did they light this tower. They did not even end up lighting the tower on fire. They got it to 22% damage. Fighting for the gate. Spear Levy's trying to take on these Celtic Warriors. The mercenary Celtic Warriors. And they're pretty solid infantry. Definitely pretty solid infantry. Some Archer Fire now coming in, though. Some of the Longbow Hunters there for Swaby getting some volleys. Let's take a look. Is it both of them? It is. One kill and zero. So this unit's still moving forward. Gonna... Oh, that's a Hexberry unit. Where's the other Archer unit? One, two... Hmm. I don't know what other unit... Oh, there's one. Okay, so he's only got three. Maybe he moved one of his other units around over here. But let's get back over on this side. Pergamon is still holding the front line at least. He's got one final unit of Agima Spears. Going to try and hold here, switching into their square formation, which honestly is actually a really good defensive stance other than just against cavalry. It's actually pretty solid, especially in an area like this where it's just basically this little block right there. He's only got to defend against this little pass right there. So the square formation pretty much fits in that area pretty substantially. So, definitely a good thing to be able to hold there. They are all condensed together, so they should be able to hold for a decent amount of time. Game of Spears, some of the Pick Peltas making their way back. We actually have... What is that? That is a Hexberry unit that is getting shot from behind by Thorough Spears. As they are chasing down a unit of archers. 200... What? 205 kills with a unit of regular... Pergamon Archers. The other unit, that's Pick Peltas, zero kills. This Archer unit here with 13 kills. 205, and they still have ammo. Point blank shots into these Hex Bearers. Oh my god. Oh, are they going to make it in? Yeah, they are. No, they're not. Oh, they might. Nope, they broke. Never mind. 
Team of Spears still doing their job. I mean, they're losing now. Some Berserkers have got their way in here, but they're doing pretty solid so far. Still holding up pretty well. Let's get back over on to... Oh, my God. Okay, so the gate has finally been taken now. That is a lot of Swaby that is left here. I don't know why Swaby is still pressing up here as hard as he is. I mean, honestly, I'd get my longbow hunters... I'd bring my hunters back inside. I, honestly, that's, I wouldn't even care about these raiders right now, honestly. Leave the sword, leave the swordmaster up there. Let him just get, you know, 200 kills and bring the archers back. I mean, this is 60 armor. You're firing straight into 60 armor. Not really going to get a whole lot of kills. All right, let's see how this center line is going to look. We do have two units of Illyrian hoplites here at the base of that ramp. Over on this side, probably the same. Two units of Illyrian hoplites over here as well. But it does look like, for the most part, this Swaby army over here has pretty much been destroyed. The general's still very much alive, though. 106 men left in that unit. Berserkers are just getting rained down on, though, right now. With some more javelins. Probably some archer fire. Pick Peltas. Okay, some more javelins. Uh, we do have Pergamon unit of Thorough Spears over here just tossing into some wolf warriors. The wolf warriors are just accepting these javelins, but here we go. A Swordmaster unit in their wedge formation now charging in. Will they catch these Thorough Spears out? I think they will. Ooh, good javelin response there. There you go, bang. Some contact has been, been made here. What is this? Some more Game of Spears. We have some Pick Peltas there with zero kills. So they still have a decent amount of ammunition. And by decent, I mean they probably move. They probably have all of their ammunition left. Get some good, vo good volley into that Wolf Warrior unit as they were just getting into melee there. Get actually a little bit more on the line there. There we go. Pokemon getting a unit of his thorough spears around. That is thorough. Nope, that's a Gima. Gima spears getting around on the flank there. There's some more of the thorough spears taking on some club levy. Good side shots. Really good side shots in onto these Wolf Warriors Swordmasters. Club Levy going to come over here, try and silence these Agiva Spears from throwing. back around over here see how this is going uh there's still fighting going on up over here there is i don't know why Swordmaster's now breaking over 200 kills kill, kill, kill. lyrian raider i don't understand this he's got three units of longbow hunters over here bringing up more hex bearers another unit of berserkers his Swordmaster general Levy Spears over here. Oh, sorry. Spear Levy just getting murdered. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is all about, but I would no longer be up here. I This one unit of Swordmasters, leave them there. Let them get as many kills as they want. Get inside the settlement. This Swaby army needs to start pressing. Like, you really got... You guys really need to start moving. I mean, you got tons of time left, though. So, I mean... Ooh. Oops, pick pell test. Oh, 158 kills. Coming over here, going to finish off 23, 22 berserkers. Okay. Look at those, some, of the berser some of those berserkers just covered in blood. Wow. Look at that dude. Covered in blood completely. Pretty much head to toe. Oh, oh, oh. 
You still going? Keep fighting? Or keep defending? Uh oh. Oh, uh, oh, what the heck? <laughs> okay. That was weird. That was weird, but that unit of Berserker is now broken. 158 kills, four of them remaining. Back over here, we have some more Wolf Warriors now taking on Pig Pelt Tests. 190 kills now for them, 52 for the Wolf Warriors. Swing back around over here. Anything really... Are they still fighting up over here? No, they're done. Okay. I hope it was worth... I mean, let's see. What did he lose? The Swordmaster unit down to 57. They did get 300 kills, though. Losing 9 out of that unit. A lot out of that Berserker unit. His general was untouched. His archers... I don't even know how much ammo his archers used over on that side. Which could, could honestly come back and bite them. In the end there. We'll have to see. Alright, so what do we have for the defenses? Not a whole lot left here. Oh, wait. We got some Militia Hoplites running away. Yep, Militia Hoplites for Pergamon trying to get out of there. This unit of Militia Hoplites coming over. Going to save this Akiva Spear unit. Allow them some time to re retreat. Maybe get some rest. we have some slingers now firing yes we do some slave slingers firing down onto a good unit to get rid of yeah hit those sword masters try and burn them down as fast as possible i mean the militia hoplites are only going to hold for so long got some more pig pelt making their way over 191 kills so they are definitely out of ammunition i'm gonna guess that they're probably just gonna go there to plug that gap too no yes let's see it looks like they are... Oh, they're taking shots. So some some of the Kimbri bow women here are getting some volleys in towards these pick pelt tests. The Akima Spear General, four Pergamon making their way out. Archers and another unit of archers. So I wonder if Pergamon's actually just going to come out, swing out over here and try and get some damage in onto these units while he can. Swordmaster's going to make short work of that Pig Peltast unit. Wolf Warrior's having a pretty difficult time with the Agima Spears. The Agima Spears are actually currently winning. Well, okay, that stopped. <laughs> Here comes that unit of Swordmasters. Yeah, just crashing in onto the back of those Game of Spears. And they will be removed from the battlefield. So let's see. It looks like, I would say for the majority, this army, this Swaby army is pretty much gone. Uh, but, I mean, there's still a lot left over here. There's still a lot. 9, 8, 6, 53. So I would say that they probably still have some decent ammunition left. Uh, I don't know what this guy has, though. This, this Swaby army over here. I don't see his longbow hunters, so I don't know how much ammo they possibly have still. Uh, we do have a unit of longbow hunters here, though, volleying up. Looks like they're trying to shoot the slave slingers, which them being so close to the wall, the archers being so close to the wall, they're really not going to get the greatest of volleys up there. Also, honestly, if he wanted to get some good shots on those slave slingers, that archer unit should have actually placed itself over here so it could have fired down the wall side. 
would have gotten a lot better of kills. A lot better of kills? A lot more kills. There we go. But in the center, we do have a unit of Swordmasters kind of attacking. Not really. It looks like they just kind of got thrown up there. Not really fully engaged. Got a few guys fighting here and there. Kind of getting engaged a little bit more. I think they were just in shield wall for a little bit there, too. All right. Oh, yep. Pergamon did push the rest of his forces out over here, so he's going to hold this corner. Definitely going to keep uh, control of this tower. Never a bad idea to at least keep one tower at your side. Is out of range of these gate towers, so well placed there by Pergamon. Great job. Back over here. Let's see. What do we still have coming in? We have the uh, Swordmasters that are making their way in now. Another unit of Berserkers making their way in. Where are the rest of his Longbow Hunters? I only see the Kimbri Bow Women. Four units of Kimbri Bow Women. There was a Longbow Hunter right there that we saw get murdered, but... I, I could have sworn he still had more with him. I didn't think they all died up on that hill up there. But, I mean, I could be wrong. Pergamon now making a, an extremely aggressive move here. He's going to make his way out over here and try and... Looks like he's going to try and regain or recapture this gatehouse. Some militia hoplites making their way forward. Pick Pelta... Oh, sorry. Regular archers now going to start volleying in onto this Swordmaster unit. Ooh, yeah. They're getting some good kills. Show them how real men fight. Well, then charge. Don't just stand there and get shot. Charge in. Go fight something. All right, what do we got? Switching it to shield wall. Still going to take losses, though. That ups their armor a little bit, but it's more for melee defense. Yeah, get them back out of that. Now going to completely get shot from the side. Yeah, losing a couple more there. A couple more. Yeah, and a couple more after that. Archers, 93 kills. I still can't believe this unit of regular archers, 234 kills. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Uh, Swordmasters breaking through that unit of the Thorough Spears there. We do have the other unit of Thorough Spears, though, making their way over. Looks like we actually just had a little bit of friendly fire there, too. I don't want to stop that archer unit from firing. There we go. So there we go. Swordmaster unit on their way out there. So Pergamon is going to be able to start recapturing this gate, which is huge. That is pretty huge. Oh, wait. Did they just show up? Yeah, there they are. The other three units of longbow hunters here. Now, there we go. Now we're getting some good volleys in onto these slave slingers. I don't know, firing into the Illyrian Noble Hoplites is probably not the greatest of idea. 115 armor, just saying. 105 for these Illyrian Hoplites as well. I mean, it's definitely going to be a difficult... I would, if I was Swaby, my archers would be used on hitting their Slave Slingers. Just to try and burn them down. I mean, they have no armor. Their armor is only 15, so I would try and burn them down as fast as possible. But Swaby is just, this This Swaby army is just standing here getting blocked. So he's just going to, yeah, they're going to get chopped down pretty quickly. We have another unit over here. Longbow Hunters, 33 kills. Now charging into melee over here. Alongside a unit of Berserkers. More reserves making their way up from the center Swaby army. But I mean, he's still got some good units. Wolf Warriors, Hexbearers, Berserkers. 
more sword masters a sword master general Pergamon is actually making his way around the whole si he's just coming down around over here just recapturing all the towers what is this here a berserker unit that might be a little difficult that could be a little difficult for these guys but oh what is that sword masters charging over here the Gima Spear General right there. Swordmaster's charging in. Gima Spear General's going to pull back. And now this unit of archers is going to charge in onto the back of the Swordmasters. Which is going to cause the whole unit to turn around and face that way. Which should, unless he's still going to chase. Looks like he is. He's still trying to pull and chase this Gima Spear General. Bring him back over here. Yeah, bring him back over to the towers. Oh, Swaby's starting to press up now. Okay, he saw he saw what Pergamon's doing now. Now he's pressing back. Okay. I was wondering how long that was going to be able to go on for. But it does look like this may be the end of the Pergamon forces. Thorough Spears there, just getting chopped down. Do have this unit of archers. 132 kills. They've just been hit by a unit of hex, full unit of hex bearers. But the Pergamon General now switching into... Oh, no, he's hitting battle rhythm. I thought he was going to switch into his square formation. But yeah, this front line here, Pergamon, yeah, the Game of Spear General is starting to wear down pretty substantially, now down to 82 men left in the unit. Another unit just came colliding in here. Was that a Berserker unit? It was. Hitting his frenzy ability, and there you go. So the Pergamon General is now gone. Pergamon, unless he's got something sitting around that I don't see, which, nope, does not seem to be. So now we have a 1v2, I would say. 1v2, maybe 1v2 and a half, depending on if this army still has anybody left. But either way, it's still a 1v2. It's a very solid infantry here, though. We'll see. I mean, it's going to be a long battle. Long, 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 long battle. Swaby, this, these guys need to start working together. They need to start sending guys around over there. They already have guys making their way up here. Archers. I think all those longbow hunters are dead. Yeah, we just got the Simbi bow women left. That's pretty rough. That is definitely not going to be uh, a help in this attack. want to take the opportunity here real quick we're about uh, about halfway through the video so just want to take the opportunity thank you guys very much for the uh, continued support for me and my channel thank you for any of you guys who have come over to start uh, you know following me over on twitch uh, video views likes comments all that stuff has been absolutely amazing um, just make sure you know hit that like button on this video if you enjoy it drop a comment down below love reading your comments sometimes I respond other times you know just reading the comments are really awesome um, share the content around as I pretty much always ask if you could because that would definitely help and uh, if you are new to the channel feel free hit that subscribe button it's very easy big red button right there just click that subscribe and you'll be on the uh, on the road to seeing some really awesome Rome 2 content and I would appreciate that as, as well honestly That's a woman right there. That's a couple. I'm just noticing that. What unit are they from? Berserkers. Is that hex bears in here? Oh, there is a hex bear unit. Okay, I thought I didn't. I didn't think there was any hex bears in there.
This is some brutal fighting right here. Oh, Jesus. That front line of hoplites just got pretty much mowed through. They were there for a little bit, but instantaneously gone when you're fighting a whole bunch of savages like this. Difficult fight. Let's see. Anything coming around over here? Yeah? Yep. We have some wolf warriors making their way forward. 82 kills. 94 of them left in the unit. Armor's only 20, though. So, yeah, this is not... You don't want to send this over here by themselves. Taking Yeah, there's two towers over here. These guys are just going to get murdered. Probably... Yeah, they're going to lose two... Two to three guys pretty much every time an archer tower fires. we not have any club level left? I guess not. I guess all the club levy is gone. A uh, couple, okay. Got two kills on that javelin volley. But they're attacking one unit at a time over here, which is just not going to be very beneficial. Yeah, unit is already losing. I mean, they're going to get some good kills right off the bat with that frenzy being activated. Uh, but once it wears out, I mean, yeah, they're already exhausted. They were already exhausted before they even hit the, the frenzy unit, so... Yeah, there they go. Not a whole lot more kills. Got another unit. Berserkers now making their way forward. This is a little bit better. I mean, it's only 10 armor, but they might be able to get some more kills. Let's see, here they come. Charge in there. They do have their uh, Berserk. Oh, sorry. Frenzy and Headhunt that they could hit. But hopefully, they get them both off. There goes the headhunt. I would hit that frenzy as well. Yeah, there you go. Hit them both. Hopefully they go out of control. We have another unit. Swordmaster's now making their way up here. This is good. My opinion, I think the Swordmaster should have gone first. Then the Wolf Warriors come, could have come in behind them. And then once the Wolf Warriors broke, then the Berserkers could have come in. Probably would have been a little bit better because there would have been a heavy frontline infantry on the front line against these Illyrian Hoplites at first. Plus, I mean, Swordmasters are really awesome. 200 need kills so far. 122 men still left in the unit. Now they're going to come charging in with their own headhunt activated. That's going to be a tough unit to get through, though. Lyrian Noble Hoplites. Very tough. Very, very tough. 115 armor. That's going to take a while to break through to that, get that 15 armor. Get back over on this side. Do you see the elite? Yeah, the Noble Hoplites getting close. The Noble Hoplite General is close up to the front line. Slingers, 111. This unit over here with 199 and 204. So it looks like the Slave Slingers are all out of ammunition. Are the Simbi Bow Women out? No, they're not. They need to get used. They really need to get used. Um... They could, two units can come over here, two units can come over here and just start firing in onto that center. What just got activated right there? Curse. Oh, the Swordmaster General. No, that wasn't him. Who hit the, who hit the curse? Was it this one? No. Did I misread the uh, abilities here? No, they don't have, oh. No. Yes, Hexbearers did it. Okay. Keep missing that Hexbearer banner. I thought they were dead. I thought they were dead over there. Let's get back over on this rear side here. Berserkers getting in there now. 190 kills for them. 218 for that Swordmaster. Another unit of Berserkers there. 194. So yeah, really starting to do some good damage here. Berserkers are going to pull back out. Honestly, I think this other Swaby General should come around over here. Swaby so Generals should definitely come around over here. Maybe this unit of Berserkers could come over there as well. But these Longbow Hunters, they really need to not just... Oh, they're getting some shots. Let's see. I mean, they're bloodying them up. They only killed one. Definitely getting a lot of blood on them, though. There you go. Two more dropped. Three. Another one dropped. Okay, down to 156. Frontline is still pretty much being held. We did have the noble hoplite general pull back. 
That's Illyria Noble Hoplites and two units of the Slave Slingers have now retreated back, heading back towards the town center. Another Slinger unit making their way over here, going to try and help hold this front line. So far, these Illyrian Hoplites doing pretty good. 92 kills for that unit. One for the second unit. Is that what that says? 22. Okay. Who's got one kill? Oh, the Hoplite General. Never mind. still over here just want to take a real quick hex bearers berserkers and a berserker but this berserker is pretty much done down to five men three men now 233 kills this unit here 210 still 16 berserkers left over there hex bearers now just crushing into the side of the slave singer unit should be able to burn them down pretty quickly also two oh god curse just blasted into all three of these units very well done there Back over here in the middle, we have a Swordmaster General up in melee taking on these Illyrian Noble Hop... Uh, regular Illyrian Hoplites, sorry. More infantry. Yep, here comes the other General going to charge in. Is he going to cycle this one out? Is the Swordmaster General going to try and break their way back out? I don't think they can. I don't think they can get back out. Looks like a lot of the unit is behind these Hoplites. So you can see all these guys somehow being able to charge through that Illyrian Hoplite line. But it's alright, with the second general coming in, I don't think this hoplite unit is going to be around very much longer, yeah. So what do we still have? We still have the Kimberly Bow Women, which are 55, 8, 9, and 9. So a lot of ammo left. Alright, you guys all still have ammo, right? Let's see. You have bows, you have bows, you have bows, and you have bows. So yeah, a lot of ammunition left here for the attackers. Slave Slingers now making their way back up towards the front line. Going to try and help hold. Actually, it looks like victory, yeah, victory has taken place over on this side. So the Lyrian Hoplites and Noble Hoplites were able to hold off this attack pretty substantially. Lyrian Noble, uh, this Illyrian Hoplite unit down to 35. The Nobles here with 129 still left. Pretty solid, pretty solid job. We had a break. Oh, no. Swaby General was able to get through. And then, yeah, they're going to have to retreat back to the town center now. Because this general is about to just cause... Oh, God, death. Oh, no, his charge got char his charge got blocked. Slave Slinger's turning around, going to meet that general, not allowing him to get that 32 charge bonus off. Still fighting him. Still, still dragging down their uh, their stamina to active. So this general might actually have to rest for a little while before they really get involved. This general over here down to 107 men, 132 on the kills, but he is completely exhausted. I would get them out of there and just let the swordmasters finish them off. Get the general out of there. Let them start resting. I mean, you got plenty of time still in this battle. 313. Move the generals back. Let them rest up a little bit. Still have another unit of Berserkers sitting back here, too, waiting in the wings. And honestly, I, I mean, we, I don't know if there's anything still left over here. They might have something sitting in the woods. You never know. You honestly never, ever, ever know. Uh, we got some Illyrian ho Noble Hoplites there. Another, the General Illyrian Noble Hoplite General there. Hoplites and Nobles. So three Noble Hoplites, one regular Hoplite remains for this final stand and I really do hope that the Swaby Generals get the opportunity to rest. Um, could be bow women just firing into routing units of Slave Slingers. Okay, let's get a little fast forward here. Looks like Swaby is going to start pressing his men forward here. They are in shield. These two units are in shield wall. 
probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get them out of shield wall. Just rush them up over here and turn them this way so they won't get shot at by the... I mean, they'll get shot at by the towers, but the towers won't do any da real damage to them because they'll be facing towards the towers. Let's see what the Kimberly Bow women are going to do. They're going to go capture these towers, hopefully. Looks like that's where they are heading. Are they not going to even come over here? I mean, two units of Illyrian Noble Hoplites. I don't know if I'd go over there either. Honestly. That's a little scary. Yeah, leave one there. Bring the other one back over there. So you can pull your general back. But they are going to capture these two towers. Do have some Archer Fire now coming in onto the Illyrian Noble Hoplite General. Oh, no, no. They're firing at this Illyrian Hoplite unit. Doing some pretty solid damage to them as well. Come on. Another volley? No? No more volleys? They all still have ammo. And they have captured these towers, so they're in the process of finishing capturing this tower. So yeah, we're nine and a half minutes left. We have one of the Swaby Generals and a Berserker over on this side. So actually, they did. he did have to bring the both the units of the Noble Hoplites back. Berserkers are going to just charge straight in. Or are you going to let the Swordmasters get in there first so you have some armor in front of you? Nope. Berserkers are just going to barrel right in there. Battle Rhythm, Frenzy, and Headhunt all activated pretty much at the same time. So this Berserker unit has the chance to get some really good kills, but they, all, they are also getting shot by the Archer Tower right there. The reason why I said maybe send the send the uh, sword message in first so they have armor in front of them. Back over on this side, still more archer fire. Okay, not a bad idea. I mean, try and try and knock down some of the defenses. Lyrian Noble Hoplite General now down to 116 men. Sword masters, two units of sword masters making their way up. 88 with 224, and the sword master general there 103 with 133 kills. Very well done. The archers starting to crack up some more. 65 for that unit. 40 there and 61 there. Are they going to charge? Yes, they are. Did that general really get a whole lot of rest? Still very tired. I would have held. I would have let them wait. I would have let them wait a lot longer. Still very tired. They're going to tick down to exhausted pretty quickly. Back over on this side. Berserkers are still alive. Really? Oh, they only have 26 kills though. Yeah, they're getting murdered. Archer Tower is getting a lot of kills. Yeah, yes, Swordmaster General, just go. I would just charge in there now. pretty brutal that was pretty brutal the berserkers are still here i would have thought they would have been well i mean they're berserkers they fight to the end pretty much they fight to the end what is that ability hold on a second
I don't remember what that ability is right there. I can't see it. Need to find some berserkers. So many sword masters still over here. I can't find them. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to find. Oh wait, there's one. Okay, so the berserkers are gonna kind of pull. Nope, they're charging back in. I thought he was maybe gonna give them some rest, but nope. And now they're out of control. Four of them left. Thirty-three left in the unit. And oh no! Wow. Okay, I stayed over here just a little bit too long. Still four and a half minutes left in this battle. What? Oh, we got a Swaby General routing. Oh, that's huge. That is pretty gigantic. So we're breaking off. We have a unit of Noble Hoplites making their way back towards the town center. Two units of Noble Hoplites. Looks like they're going to make their way back. Unless these units going to stay and hang out. Yeah, this guy's going to stay over here. So here we go. One unit of Illyrian Noble Hoplites charging... Oh, no, he stopped. So Swaby has now captured the town center. Swordmasters, Swordmasters, four units of Kimberly Bow Women. Here comes that Illyrian Noble Hoplite General making his... I'm sorry, not even the general. Not even the general. The general is dead, I forgot. So we have two rogue units of Illyrian Noble Hoplites left still on the battlefield they've actually come over here they're going to neutralize the town center again good move there everybody's moving forward this unit of simply bow women is out of ammunition that's rough what about these guys are they all out no way oh they still have ammo this unit's out of ammo, too. That general, there he is. Oh, wait, well, nope, we got the other unit of Simbi Bow Women coming in this way. Where is the unit that has ammo, though? This one. This unit needs to come right here and fire that way. Oh, nope. Noble Hoplite's now charging out, breaking around the edge of that unit, gonna get into it, so he's gonna tie up all these units here. Swordmaster General now blasting off his uh, headhunt there. Should probably couple that with his other ability there, but it does not look like he's going to use it. Yeah, that battle rhythm is definitely a good coupling with the headhunt. This is close. Close, close, close fight. So we have two generals left against a unit of Illyrian Noble Hoplites. This Swordmaster General not looking too good. Swordmasters, this other unit of Swordmasters just shattered. So here is your final bit of the victory point fight. 42 seconds left. One of the Swaby generals now starting to waver. Broken. Gotcha. Now they're all going to turn and be able to face this other unit, but it is. Ooh, it's got to turn them quick. 25 seconds left in the battle replay here. 
Now, this is just the actual replay. This was not the full hour of a battle. I, you know, we did see that back at the beginning. It was only a 51-minute replay. Swordmaster General unit is winning here. Oh, there they go. Wow. Lyria Noble Hoplites, man. Very solid infantry. Very, very solid infantry. And there it is. The end. Costly victory for the defenders. Crazy battle. Let's take a look at the defending armies. We'll start off with RDI, who's commanded by Charlie Six Zulu, who's actually the one that sent the replay in. So, dude, thank you very much for sending in another uh, 3v2 battle between, with you and Armored versus the world, basically. <laughs> His Noble High Blade General, only 54 kills. Slave Slingers, 202, 128, 120, 205. Great job there with his Slave Slingers. Lyrian Hoplites, 124, 108, 112, 110. His other two units of Noble Hoplites, 298, 174. This unit right there, almost 300 kills. His Raiders, 106, 112, 111. And one unit of his Celtic Warriors there with 83 kills. Then we get in with Armored Scarab with Pergamon, his general, 21 kills. Archers, 137, 235. Pig Peltas, 208, 200. Really great job with his range units. The Game of Spears, 225, 133, 122. Glacian Swords, 117, 159. His Militia Hoplite's really not a whole lot. And his four units of Thorough Spears, two units there with over 100 kills, 143, 117. And we'll get with Kamkul Mons, 54, one of the Swaby armies. Uh, his general, 184 kills. His archer's not doing very well. Berserkers, 218, 111, 123. A lot of Hex... We have only four Hex Bearers. I think this was the army that was on the hill. I think that's this army that was on that backside of hill where all of the Illyrian raiders were at. Uh, Swordmasters did fantastic, though. Two, 292, 322, great job there, but the rest of the army just really not... Yeah, the Hexbearers and the Spear Levy just really not performing very well. Uh, then we have Vikinger here with his Swordmaster General, 211. His can be bow women, not really faring very well. Top kill, 83. Berserkers, 235. This is the army that was in the middle with the Bloodsworn and a couple of Club Levy units there. 138 on a Hex Bearer. There we go. Swordmasters, 283, 203, 221. Uh, Wolf Warriors, 170. I'm sorry, 145, 173. There we go. And then we have Silencio here with the final Swaby attacking army. His general, 153. I think this is the army that attacked that Pergamon held off against. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Wow. Counting 11 units of hex bearers. That is a lot of hex bearers. 111 on some sword masters, 158 on some berserkers, and his archers really not faring very well. German slinger, Germanic slingers, 944 kills. Yeah. But all right, guys, there you go.